Being live stream. Okay, okay. For now, this is not.
Ya está. Ya está. Ya está. Ya está. Ya A, Ya está. Ya está. Ya Sorry for that. <laughs> And sorry for the ones that are online for this couple of minutes. And thank you for waiting. So now we are going to present each region action plan. We will start with the region that is hosting this meeting, the Russian Lentege Action Plan. Then we will follow to the action plan from Finland, because you are present. <laughs> then from Slovenia, after that from Poland, and then we pass online to Spain, then Lithuania, and then Italy. 
Okay, so I will start presenting our uh, action plan. <coughs> I think I can take this off. And so, virtual action plan, uh, we already have uh, a draft uh, with some uh, um, remarks uh, ready for, for it. So, in terms of Sorry. <laughs> okay, so Bachelor and Tej Action Plan uh, has as main focus the public procurement. It's one of the main focus, one of the necessities that we identify uh, during all the work regarding the SWOT analysis and the regional analysis. We identify the public procurement is the issue that must, take in, must be taken into consideration in our action plan. Also, and uh, as you know, it, it was presented also has a good practice, uh, is the symbol purchasing center system. So we want to to include uh, LCA uh, um, in the in the public procurement, and then after that, integrate it in symbol purchasing system. Uh, also, we need to improve and to have a more capacity building of the regional ad agents. That is something that is very uh, necessary to take in consideration, and also our policy that is a regional operational program and in this phase it uh, symbol is not the managing authority of this uh, policy but has a good relation and it's uh, um, every time consulted uh, in order to improve the, the the regional operational program that is the financial instrument of the region in terms of actions we identify two actions so the first one is to integrate life cycle analysis criteria in specific procedures and the inclusion of life cycle costs calculator. Um, and then a second one that is the green public procurement. And in this action, specific action, we want to improve the capacity and to, to have a capacity building of the uh, regional agents. In terms of action one, that we identify, that is the integration of life cycle analysis criteria in specific procedures and the inclusion of life cycle costs calculator. We intend to integrate this life cycle criteria uh, directly in symbol central purchase uh, systems and the procedures that are operating in this system and to have a life, uh, a life cycle uh, tool uh, regarding the costs and so on uh, uh, to, to be used and uh, in public procurement. We need to specify some specific uh, products uh, groups and we have as an example, the school's meal procurement symbol in the system uh, acquire uh, as a whole for the 13 municipalities, the, the, the school meals for the kids. So it's one example that we can use to, to improve and to integrate life cycle analysis in this type of procurements. In terms of uh, main objectives of this action, we want to have more sustainable menus uh, available uh, and in what regards healthy, seasonal products, nutritional and organic food. So we want to use the tools to have this uh, criteria and uh, in, when uh, we are evaluating uh, the proposals. So uh, also to reduce CO2 emissions, 
to select the best suppliers in terms of price, but also in terms of sustainability. We know this is uh, difficult because when you have a public procurement, the, th the first thing is the price, the, the, the criteria that is majorated, but then we have to change a little bit. So there is not only the price, but only the sustainability of, of it. The, re the reduction of food waste and also to uh, one of the objectives is to increase the awareness regarding more and more sustainable consumption. In terms of criteria that uh, we can work on in, in order to uh, introduce life cycle analysis, we have this type of criteria that we can uh, try to manage uh, during the implementation of the action and this to the compliance with food criteria, as I mentioned before. Also the price, the origins and type of transport, uh, the type of packaging, and then when we uh, talk about type of packaging, we are uh, 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 saying material, if it's reusable or not, and so on. The waste, uh, what is done to the material in terms of when we have the returned packaging, and others such as specific certification, ecological footprint, and so on. In terms of the good practice that we uh, um, used to develop this uh, action, we have the, the good practice the, from the regional, that is the calculation of the carbon footprint in services of the Commonwealth of the region of Pamplona is one of the good practice that uh, which we learn and we are uh, trying to, to use in the implementation of this specific action. And also the active support of the contracting authority by the public procurement office through LCC calculators. This is the second good practice where we were based on and which uh, we think it's a good practice to follow. And then we try to integrate uh, the knowledge that we learn in this uh, action. In terms of action number two, the green public procurement, and we want with this specific action to improve the capacity building. Uh, we want to develop a green public procurement, for instance, and uh, in terms of an example, in terms of the mobility sector, where the aim is to ensure that vehicles don't exceed a certain maximum of CO2 emission levels. And we identify also this specific need uh, for our region, that is the preparation of specific training regarding the implementation of life cycle methodologies, so that all details can be considered uh, for all the entities. And in this case, we need also to define specific target groups to, to have this uh, capacity building and these uh, in, this, uh, uh, workshops and uh, formation for, for all. The objective is to the, have a decrease in the CO2 emission. In terms of good practice that we are based on, uh, this is the training and capacity building on circular economy on and LCA in Slovenia is one of the good practice that we based on uh, to to develop to define this action and we want to uh, develop uh, this action taking into consideration all the lessons learned from this good practice and the what the other one is the capacity building and life cycle assessment from Lutz University of Technology. This is the second good practice that we intend to, to use. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> So that's it. This is the main feature of our uh, action plan. We have two, two specific actions, and now we are uh, we already have a draft, and uh, we are going to improve, taking also in consideration what we're going to discuss in the in this meeting because we want to present a very good good practice. So from my side, that's this is it regarding the virtual and Dash action plan. So. Uh, I think that we can have uh, all the questions at the end uh, after in the debate. So I will pass the, the floor to our colleagues from Finland to present their. Just a minute, I'm sorry. Yes. Uh, can I add up something um, that I, I would like to emphasize? 
Yeah. That of course, uh, what we are, uh, and uh, this is related also with the opening that uh, we have. Uh, our main goal here is to, besides uh, promote, like Sophia was saying, promote the the work, uh, the working together with the, the regional, the wider regional authority. We intend to incorporate the, the most possible all the other uh, efforts that are being done in other uh, projects, namely, uh, of course, what is being uh, done under uh, circular economy projects. So, just to emphasize this. And so, what we feel is that when we are able to relate all this, our action plan will be even more. Um, meaningful and the impacts in the region will be wider. Thank you. Thank you, Elsa. So I will pass to our colleagues. And thank you. Okay. 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 So briefly about our action plan. So I will emphasize uh, <coughs> this is a draft, and and still still the details are. Uh, wait a minute. <laughs> okay, are, are we gonna be use this? What did I take? Thank you. Well, I used the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, just uh, the policy, uh, remind everybody about the policy context uh, where this action plan is in Finland. We are targeting the, the ARDF program, Sustainable Growth and Jobs uh, uh, program. And uh, there, you know, as a, our, our priority areas uh, were innovative Finland, uh, and 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 that's well, we have launched uh, also a new a new new area program uh, last year. It's about innovation and skills in Finland, uh, two thousand twenty-one to two thousand twenty-seven, and there the there the priority axis. Uh, which I want to mention here are the innovative Finland, carbon neutral Finland, and, and Finland that prevents material deprivation, which relates to the social aspect. <clears throat> and uh, I think that uh, these priority areas are, are in the focus also in our action plan. And, and in total, total the the action plan aims to impact about over 90 million euros <coughs> funding, uh, which has been uh, targeted to Satakunta region yeah. in our region. This is the total, total budget. And of course, 
uh, a small amount uh, is, is then targeted to as a, as a different kinds of uh, uh, projects in, in our area during the whole time span. Uh, I mentioned here some other important uh, strategies that contribute to this action plan and, and, and are important policies in Satakonta regions. And I have mentioned them here, like a regional strategy of Satakonta, which is uh, the, the main main uh, program includes in the smart specialization strategy and and, and and smart specialization strategy for sustainability and and in addition to this uh, all these contributing programs that uh, we are <coughs> targeting at are are uh, unfortunately maybe you cannot see them all all in the in the slide here, but I, I say them the Satakunta Forest Economy Program, uh, a new one, and Satakunta Bio and Circular Economy Program, and then the third one is Satakunta Climate and Energy Strategy 2030. And they are important documents uh, by which also the ERDF funds are, are uh, targeted in our area. Uh, we have we are describing now three actions here. Uh, the first one is improved resource efficiency through food sector uh, actions, and uh, <coughs> Satakonta is, is a very important uh, region in Finland uh, to provide uh, provide uh, food. And, uh, and um, there's, there's a lot of biomass to be circulated and, and there is an increasing aware that we, we need to be resource efficient and minimize food losses. And also social responsibility recognition is, is very, uh, uh, it's, it is at very high level in, in Satakunta municipalities. Uh, according to uh, recent service, all these all these uh, points point to out that we would like to get inspired by some of the uh, good practices uh, what we have learned during this pro pro project, especially uh, good practices presented by Navarra region uh, about their their uh, food bank. Uh, arrangements, as well as the uh, Lombardia example uh, that we learned recently in our journey. Uh, in addition to this, uh, our LCA for regions was uh, providing, uh, uh, was contributing the food sustainability assessment course, which, which uh, uh, we were uh, able to attend and and it actually worked as an kind of an inspired environment for mm -hmm. to, to provide uh, more more uh, details into this uh, action so <clears throat> a little bit what are, what what these actions uh, may be so there is a, could be the lca guiding for improvement of digitalized networking between food suppliers in our area, between public authorities and, and social and health, sec health sectors and the restaurant, restaurants, uh, this type of uh, arrangement, and also LCA for development of food, food bank concept for, for cities, especially uh, Satakunta region has two main cities, Raum and Pori. Players involved, what we have uh, identified, uh, are listed here. There's uh, university academia partners, uh, and and then the municipalities and and also regional development organizations and NGOs in the area, and also the charity organizations will be involved. And uh, time frame for this action. Uh, 
it's a longer term approach uh, and, and uh, will starting period is put in 2023 but but these details are not not uh, clear very, very clear at the moment and also uh, related to the costs and funding sources but uh, main funding sources of course in this case are the ERDF and and social urban social funds provided to the Dakota region then the action Two uh, is related to climate neutral Satakunta. And uh, there, there we have several different uh, sectors. What we are targeting at in this action could be construction, energy efficiency of buildings and building renovation systems. Uh, and there are the municip municipalities in the front line and uh, LCA is highlighted in, in this. This strategies, what we have, especially this energy and climate strategy. We have got, uh, we have learned a lot during this process and as an inspiration from, got inspiration from many sources, uh, examples from Lombardia, Laski region, and Kaunas, Kaunas region, especially. Uh, and here the the also as a background is the that we want to in our green public procurement system so so there is a, this promotion of circular economy uh, important as an inspired important part and and here the inspiration is is coming from visual and the region about vehicle vehicle uh, procurement and and also example from Lombardia about the expo arrangements. <clears throat> okay, and the, the actions related to this uh, uh, are the including the tendering processes development and to promote energy efficiency criteria. It is indicated in our in our strategy as well. Uh, and public procurement processes focus on, on circular solutions along with uh, life cycle thinking. So, uh, but as I showed, the, the details are yet, yet uh, to be worked on. And, and, and as I said, the case studies with, uh, related to uh, expo arrangements in, in South Dakota. And players uh, involved in this action are indicated here as well. Uh, addition to these academic organizations and NGOs, the uh, public-private partnership systems are, are uh, potential uh, actors, and, and a national <coughs> national organization Motiva uh, is uh, uh, playing a role here. Time frame is also longer or longer range uh, action as well as the, the cost and funding sources are, are yet to be uh, detailed. So, but ERDF funds are important. In addition, uh, we have a lot long experience about the indirect programs that, that uh, will be uh, planned to, be, to act as a funding sources. Action number three, very briefly, is a reduction of carbon emissions in agriculture sector. And uh, and this is uh, this we are, are planning that uh, as a background that there is this pro primary production practices that contribute significant significantly to carbon emissions. And uh, here the education approaches uh, and the capacity building is is playing an important part. And and it, it, it's realistic in this case. That we can we can obtain carbon emission reductions during by by uh, educating uh, educating the the players. There we have got inspirations of Slovenian and Kaunas and Lasky region, region related to this education educational actions and also the fund sustainability assessment course. So. Uh, 
So there is the action is LCA's use as a guiding approach for evolving these cultivation practices. And, and there is uh, players involved. So they, they are also including the previous ones, the, what I have mentioned in previous actions, the farmer associations, especially, and, and, uh, and food companies in the area. Okay, and time frame and cost. I don't, they are not yet to, yet to be uh, defined. Thank you. So these were mine. So good morning, dear colleagues here in the conference room and all of you being present online. So it's my pleasure to present here today the draft action plan for the Confusion region Western uh, Slovenia. Uh, before beginning, I would like on this opportunity to thank Mrs. Irena Hvala, who is also present online, uh, who uh, cooperated with us and helped us to, uh, to prepare the draft action plan. Uh, so I will present you the actions that we are planning to implement in the near future in, in the country, as well as then I will also briefly talk at the end of this presentation about uh, challenges. So there will be three actions that we are going to, to work on. The first one is involved in the field of green public procurement optimization. The second one is in, on implementing LCA models into the uh, study programs at, at the university level. And the third one is related to the LCA training uh, workshops. Uh, regarding the first action, <clears throat> which is uh, devoted to the green public procurement optimization, we are uh, <clears throat> planning to cooperate uh, intensively with the Slovenian Public Procurement Directorate that belongs to the Ministry of Public Administration. And here you can also you can see the organizational scheme of very of three divisions within the Public Procurement Directorate. There are experts with which with whom we are going to uh, cooperate from um, from the autumn. Uh, this year onwards as well uh, as well as we are also going to pre pre uh, cooperate with the ministry of the environment and spatial planning of the republic of slovenia that is also very involved in the legislation concerning uh, public procurement uh, and uh, our plan is here to study present and implement mathematical models or tools 
for green public procurement, more precisely for LCA, LCC or LCA caustic models, and to include them into the Slovenian public procurement system that concerns both legislation and procedures. All this will help us uh, better to calculate the costs of the purchase and use when buying vehicles for public uh, authorities. So this uh, action um, <clears throat> uh, is based on the good practice that was presented to the, the last year during one of TLJs by uh, experts from Poland. Uh, then the second action is devoted to the implementation of the LCA models into the study program at the university level. We have established already a cooperation with colleagues uh, from the University of Maribor, more precisely from the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering. Uh, where all, where all there, uh, where there exist already uh, educational activities regarding the life cycle, the methodologies of life cycle assessment. Uh, and here, uh, it is our plan first to study, adopt, and prepare a draft of LCS as part of the curriculum, and then to try to implement the best practices into the accredited study programs at this particular uh, faculty uh, belonging to the University of Maribor. Uh, this good practice uh, is based uh, on the experience that was uh, presented to us by uh, um, good practices we presented to us by colleagues from Finland. So here we have, as you can see, two options. Either we can upgrade the existing subjects, for example, economics and entrepreneurship or energy management. And uh, this, there is also then the second option to start the process of accreditation for a completely new study subject. Uh, I mentioned here the, the, the Faculty of Chemistry and Chemical Engineering of uh, the University of Maribor. A similar program, a similar activity could then also be implemented at the University of Ljubljana, more precisely at the, at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, where also uh, knowledge has been delivered for several years to students in the field of LCA methodologies. And then there is a third action, which is devoted to the LSA training. And uh, this activity uh, is very much <clears throat> related to the, to the uh, smart specialization strategy that was implemented in Slovenia a few years ago in order to strengthen the competitiveness of economy, innovation capacity, and the diversification of the existing industry. All of this in order uh, to obtain growth of new and booming industries and companies. And all of this could be done uh, through the so called strategic research and innovation partnership, including the one which is uh, devoted to the implementation of circular economy uh, uh, in the country. So in this field, our plan uh, is to study the circular economy training course and present it to the interested participants from the Chamber of Commerce and Industry of Steyrska or Styria region, which is the leader in the strategic research and innovation partnership uh, devoted to the transition into circular economy. Uh, and like this, we believe that this is the most uh, suitable or most appropriate institution in the country to conduct uh, <clears throat> the transfer of knowledge in the field of LCA methodology to uh, uh, experts, uh, people coming from industrial and other, com uh, and other companies. The another partner that could conduct these uh, activities is also the Chamber of Commerce of the, of the uh, Republic uh, of Slovenia. 
uh, and the good practice, let's say, which inspired us to, uh, to the, the transfer of knowledge into Slovenia is the good practice uh, that was presented to us by colleagues from, uh, from Navarra. Uh, finally, I would like to spend a few words regarding different challenges when conducting uh, the action plan. There are, uh, there, there are four tasks and then also we are also then providing the suggested solutions. So there might be challenges regarding the <clears throat> uh, ha uh, having insufficient knowledge of the details of good practices of examples that we want to transfer to Slovenia. Then the another challenge might be that the officials may not show enough interest for the presented ideas. And then uh, there might be also a problem with the low number of contact points for the transfer of example of good practices. And then might, and there is also then the last challenge, which is uh, <clears throat> related to uh, different situations affecting our lives. Here we are mentioning COVID-19 pandemic and the, and the Russia-Ukraine war. And here on the right hand side of the table, we are, all, we are also providing uh, the solutions how to, how to tackle uh, these challenges. So uh, this would be all from my side and I thank you all for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Okay. Uh, so, uh, my name is Adam Szymański and I represent uh, Lotzki team uh, from our project on CV3 regions. Uh, nice, very nice to, to meet you, to have you uh, all uh, in Portugal right now and have, you, have your attention uh, online. Uh, as you see, uh, I would uh, like to tell a brief, a very brief presentation on uh, Lotzki in action, uh, meaning the uh, what what we going to do in uh, in our action plan? Uh, exactly, we uh, we propose two types of uh, activities for action plan. Uh, I must say that it's only uh, a draft uh, a draft agenda for the action plan because uh, we are still working on on our uh, 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 on our document uh, uh, source document, which is European funds for Lotsky regions. 21-27 uh, perspective, um, and we propose uh, two uh, types of activities. Uh, I mean, uh, the integration of uh, LCA elements into activities foreseen in the implementation of circular economy, uh, foreseen in a document implementing the financing of a pro environmental project, and the second one is uh, LCA, uh, LCA and related methodologies. I mean, uh, carbon footprint, water footprint uh, in the education and consultancy initiatives. Uh, of course, it's it's very 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 nice to have uh, an inspiration and and um, good practices did it pretty well. Uh, uh, I, I mean the 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 team the Finnish team was uh, 
was great in, in those initiatives. Uh, Biomass, uh, Atlas, Kano, uh, Kano um, Competence Center, uh, Lithuanian Waste Management, uh, Lithuanian Deposit System. Uh, uh, guys from Slovenia have a great uh, ideas on, on green public uh, procurement solutions. Uh, 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 the, 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 the assessment of, uh, of the impact of uh, municipality, municipality services uh, was also great. Um, uh, and on the basis of the European funds for Lotsky regions, uh, we figure out that, um, uh, that, that uh, we need to uh, um, implement the priority uh, European funds for the uh, green Lotsky region. Uh, and we um, specify the the, um, the the objectives supporting trans transformation to a, towards a circular economy. Uh, so uh, this is this is the details. I'm not going into details. Uh, we have uh, also a discussion uh, in the um, after after the event. Uh, uh, it's 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 a pleasure to 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 introduce Marta uh, Asner, who is uh, uh, now uh, editing the the the, the uh, European funds for Lotsky region, and and she knows all, all the details uh, connected with uh, with with those initiatives. Um, uh, what I would like to to stress that um, in the uh, scope of uh, uh, of intervention water efficiency and that is uh, I guess uh, what uh, what uh, what Mr. Director said that we are facing the, the similar problems in Wutzke. We have only two uh, artificial uh, lakes, uh, you know, reservoirs. Uh, that is Jorsko and that is uh, Sulejewski region. So we, we have to uh, uh, focus on 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 the, the the problems with the water management because we we, we are going to face the the, the, sa the same problems due to the cli climate changes uh, the threats right the drought etc right uh, so uh, and the second the, the second scope of intervention is of course the the uh, the, the field uh, connected with um, uh, st uh, strengthening the sustainable growth, competitiveness of SMEs, creating jobs, uh, of course, the, 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 the green ones, uh, including the productive environments. Uh, the, the, the scope of interventions in implementation of solutions in the fields of circular economy. And I, I guess that it's brief, in all, all in, uh, in brief, in, a, in a five, uh, five, 10 minutes. Uh, I hope that we'll, we'll have a, a fruitful discussion in the uh, after after the presentations, and so we are, we are we are we'll be glad to 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 answer all your questions. Thank you very much. That is all. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So moving on, and now uh, it's an online presentation. We'll start with the online presentation. So we have, uh, the next one is uh, our colleagues from Spain to talk a little bit about their action plan. Okay. Hi. Hello, good morning. Hey. Hello, good morning, Sandra. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to. Okay, wait a moment. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So go yes. on. Uh, I'm going to try to share my, my screen. ¿Por qué no me deja? ¿Dónde? Arriba, arriba, selecciona la pantalla. Ahí. ¿Y aquí? Ah, mira. Pantalla completa. Sí. Pantalla completa. Sí. Pantalla Aquí, ¿no? Sí. Pero no me va a dejar la pantalla. ¿Dónde? Ah, sí, pantalla completa. Arriba, arriba. Sí. 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 Arriba, arriba.
Okay, we are seeing the, the yes. screen now, yes. the presentation. Yes, perfect. Go on, perfect. Okay, thank you very much. So first of all, I would like to apologize to Imbala and Irradiare because uh, we are not there in Portugal and also the, the attendees that are in Bella, uh, but we, we found some difficulties with the fly and it was impossible for us to, to be there today in, in Bella. Uh, and, and after that, uh, I'm going to go ahead with the Navarra Action Plan. Uh, so, uh, the, the initial plan um, of, of Navarra uh, was the, the ERDF Navarra 2014, the 2020, to announce the transition to a low uh, carbon economy in, in all sectors. Uh, but however, uh, however due, uh, due to the fact that um, uh, it was in a real final state, uh, we find uh, difficulties to improve it. And the learnings from the project exchange of experience took us to new ideas, to uh, other two instruments uh, in which we can have a greater influence by the application of life cycle methodologies uh, that are the regional law on public contracts and the Navarra Waste Plan. So starting with the um, uh, regional law of public contracts, uh, for the first time, uh, it considered uh, the concept of life cycle applied to, to public purchase activity, and also the use of life cycle costs uh, that, uh, that include other costs uh, in the products or service uh, through the whole life cycle of, of these products or, and services. But during these days uh, of, of the public contract that it was approved in 2018, uh, it was uh, not really used, life cycle approach. So the action that we want uh, to, to carry out in Navarra to, to contribute to this uh, law, to this uh, policy instrument, the first one is the selection of group of products or services with environmental criteria, following the example of uh, Slovenia, that they have 20 groups of products or services where it is mandatory the, the use of environmental criteria. Also following the example of Poland, because they have uh, 19 groups, but uh, they are recommended, they are not mandatory. Um, the second action is to introduce the use of life cycle cost uh, tools in public procurements. Uh, here we took ideas from, from Slovenia also, uh, following the, the formula that they use in vehicles um, concerning the, the directive uh, to, to to include also not only the price, but also uh, other environmental criteria. And, and as well, the, the translation that Poland has made uh, about the European, the calculation of the life cycle cost calculation of the European Commission. So they can, uh, so the public officers uh, can use them in their own languages. The third action are the training course to public purchasers, uh, because when we were talking and discussing in, in the TLG4 in Slovenia, we, we reached to the conclusion that it's essential to, to capacity building uh, public officers for, for green tenders, and, and we, we want to, to implement this action also. And finally, regarding this uh, policy instrument, is the, um, uh, the help, uh, help desk for public purchases. So uh, Finland and Slovenia have, have a help desk, uh, so public purchases can uh, call them and, and accompany them in the, in the process of making green tenders. So we would like to, to make this also. And here 
wait a moment. For example, I'm going to show you the draft that we have carried out uh, regarding this policy instrument, following the template of Interreg Europe. Uh, first of all, uh, we have made a, a brief introduction uh, explaining why we are not going to, to address the policy instrument of the application form. And later on, uh, an introduction of the new, um, uh, new policy instrument. Uh, explaining why uh, we want to, to use to address this policy instrument and, and where during the exchange of experience uh, we, we were inspired uh, for, for, the, for the good practice that all of you uh, showed to us. And later on, uh, here uh, we put, um, uh, we describe the different action, the different four action, and in each of the actions, uh, we have uh, described uh, the background, uh, the the list and describe the action that they are going to be implemented here in Navarra. The players involved, that most of them is the. Uh, Directorate of Environment and the Public Procurement Service. And here in all the action plans, all the description. And, and here I would like to say that uh, all the actions uh, have started uh, a little bit here in, in Navarra, but uh, this one about the training of public procurement uh, we have the approval of the Institute of the Public Institute of, of Navarra to, to make calls for public uh, officers. So we have the approval and we will uh, carry out the trainings in, uh, in October. And uh, following with the next, I'm going to put the full screen, with the next policy instrument that is the We lost Sandra. She's froze. So we are going to stop sharing. We lost our partners. Hopefully they return. <laughs> So maybe Sandra and Irene can, when they return, they can finish their presentation. So I see that Yolanta is already ready to present the action plan from Lithuania. So let's give them just one minute to check if they are okay. And in this action plan, uh, we would like to assess uh, also uh, 2016 that it was uh, the last year previous to the start of the waste plan, and the 2020, that is the last uh, year that we have data, and, and to know the, the track, um, monitor the, 
the three years and I know the, the evolution of the uh, carbon That's footprint uh, uh, assessment, the carbon footprint of the three years and to, to implement new, new measures to, to reduce it. But uh, this, uh, this action plan regarding the waste plan uh, is, uh, we don't know yet if we can carry out them. So, because we are waiting the, the availability of ACR flows and zero waste Scotland. And this is uh, from, from Navarra. Thank you very much. Sandra, sorry, we lost your connection. We didn't, didn't hear the end of it. I don't know if you are listening to us. No, they are not listening. <laughs> Sandra, are, are you listening to us? Now, yes. Now, yes. Okay. So we we lost your connection. It was you be, was here frozen. So we don't hear the the end of the. And we are not seeing you at the moment. So um, we lost you when you were talking about the waste plan. So the last slide of your presentation. So I think we will get back to it because no one listened to that. So you didn't uh, listen anything about the uh, action plan regarding the waste plan? No, nothing. Okay, okay, so I'm going to, to share okay. again. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay, can you see uh, the screen now? Uh, we are seeing. Okay, perfect. So uh, the waste plan of, of Navarra uh, indicates that the calculation of the carbon footprint associated with the waste management is a necessary indicator for decision-making processes and also contribute uh, to the reduction of greenhouse gases emissions. Uh, and during the transnational learning journey in Satacunta, uh, it was presented uh, several uh, good practice uh, from Lombardy, from Lithuania, and from, uh, and from Finland, uh, where they use life cycle approach uh, for waste management decision, uh, policy decisions. So we saw that this uh, instrument, the, the life cycle approach, is really useful for uh, waste policy decisions. And in addition, during the transnational learning journey here in Navarra, um, ACR Plus organizes a workshop to present the more circularity less carbon campaign with the aim to reduce the carbon impact of municipal waste uh, by 25% by 2025. Um, and as Navarra is uh, a member of C, uh, of C, uh, ACR Plus member, um, that, okay, um, uh, yes, uh, sorry, uh, um, Remy Salandev, that is from Zero Waste Scotland, uh, presented the, the campaign and also the Carbon Metric International Tool that this tool enable uh, to measure the carbon impact of, of the municipal weight, take effective action to reduce it and track the, the progress. So uh, Navarra is a member of ACR Plus and we could benefit of, of this campaign. And we make the, the assessment of uh, our uh, household waste of Navarra during the year uh, 20, uh, 19. Uh, therefore, we have the result now, and we would like to uh, to assess also the year 2016 because it's uh, the last year uh, before the approval of the uh, Navarra Waste Plan, 
and the year 2020 because it's the year uh, that we have the last data. And um, we would like to, to have uh, the, the three uh, assessment and check the evolution. We lost again. We lost it again, our colleagues from Nevada. So. We're going forward to uh, Yolanta, can you present it, please? Okay, thank you very much. Um, okay, thank you, Yolanta. Go can, on. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. Okay, thank you very much. And first of all, uh, I'm very sorry that uh, I'm not with you. Um, congratulations for hosting team, for Portuguese team, uh, for this opportunity to participate online. And um, well, uh, I would like to just uh, uh, say, um, uh, okay, greetings to all our partners and I will try to share the screen and present my presentation for the for the action plan development. Can you see the slides? Yes, can you put it uh, bigger, please, on presentation mode? Perfect, go on. Uh, no. Now it's okay or not? No, no, can you remove the... It's too big. It's too big. Too big, okay. And what about now? Can you make a little bit smaller, please? I do not know why, because... Uh... Go, go on like that. Go on like that. Now it's okay. Uh, more or less, but we can see it. Okay. So... Um, first maybe... I will skip just presentation for those who didn't know. Um, the Polish um, University of Technology, you can uh, just read from the, from the slides. And actually we have developed the draft action plan for, for our country, not region, for, for the country. And I would say that uh, actually, we were inspired uh, by all partners because uh, the topic life cycle assessment or life cycle technologies or life cycle methodologies or life cycle approach, it's quite new for our country or not, uh, not much used before in many different areas. So our policy instrument, of course, we wanted to improve. It's this, uh, the last or the previous operational program, uh, but still this program will be implemented until 2023. And of course, we will continue working, or I hope and I know already that the policy instrument, the new policy instrument will also uh, in, uh, introduce already and will use the life cycle approach in many different um, uh, measures or actions. And of course, this policy instrument, our policy instrument, and especially priority access is related with the environment, sustainable use of natural resources and adaptation to, to climate change. And of course, uh, the resource efficiency or um, increased efficiency of material and energy through the introduction of green technologies and circular economies, the most important things in policy in the policy instrument. Of course, what we, how we have developed this action plan, uh, we used all the experience from the partnership, from the project of sea for region project, and we, um, learned from very much from uh, our transnational learning journeys. And uh, also we analyzed our situation in Lithuanian and main documents related with the, uh, with the um, 
operational program as well with different um, uh, strategies, instruments or policy instruments and as well with the related with the National Energy and Climate Action Plan, the Lithuanian's Progress Strategy. And uh, of course, the new policy instrument, as I have mentioned, is related with the greener Lithuania. And uh, during the development of the action plan, we have uh, communicated or we were um, uh, made a consultation with many stakeholders because we are research institution, but we are very closely uh, cooperate with uh, many institutions, uh, ministries in Lithuania, Ministry of Economy and Innovation, Ministry of Environment, Transport, and of course, municipalities and uh, different um, regional um, authorities and, and regional uh, institutions. And of course, uh, all, we have mentioned that most important were lessons learned from TLG 2, 3, and 5, 4, but I would say that from each of transnational learning journey, we got a lot of inspirations and a, a lot of um, inspirations for our action plan development. Uh, what I should mention maybe uh, first that when we uh, started this project, uh, our university, uh, as I mentioned before, uh, has a close cooperation with the Ministry of um, Economy and Innovation, and we were involved in the development of the circular economy roadmap in country, and uh, we decided... Uh, so sorry. Can you remove the presentation mode? Because now we are not seeing uh, well the, the slides. Okay. Probably if you take the presentation yeah, mode. What about now? No, no, no. It's too big. I do not know because I use. What oh, about perfect, now? perfect, like that. Okay, it's so, okay, like that. Okay, I did a little okay, bit. thank you. Sorry, go on. Thank you. So we were, as I have mentioned, we were involved in the development of the roadmap for the circular economy in country. And uh, we had an opportunity to, uh, to in, introduce and integrate life cycle thinking approach and methodologies into this roadmap. So we, for the action plan development, we decided to make two actions and one action is related with uh, improvement of the resource efficiency and waste management at regional level by fostering innovations for the transition to circular economy. And another action, stimulation of the public procurement process by education and communication about the good practices and the results. And um, of course, um, as I have mentioned, uh, because the life cycle methodologies and approach wasn't uh, incorporated or in, in integrated into our policy instruments or different other strategies, uh, this uh, was a very good opportunity to in cooperation with Ministry of Economy and Innovations to introduce uh, life cycle assessment into roadmap circular economy roadmap and uh, the new calls for eco-innovations LT plus were launched and uh, with the aim to promote micro, small and medium-sized enterprises to implement technological eco-innovation. And of course, one of, the, uh, one of the criteria is environmental impact of products and services should be assessed using the life cycle evaluation. And uh, this action, as I have mentioned before, uh, different good practices from partner countries were introduced to our stakeholders and especially from, uh, um, I would say from Spain, from Italy, from Poland as well, from Finland and from other countries as well regarding this especially action. And the partners involved, players involved in, the, in this action will be also Ministry of Economy and Innovation, industrial companies and research institutions and time frame we will start with this year and uh, we will continue 
until um, the end of the new policy instrument. But as I mentioned before, nowadays the, our policy instrument uh, still will be implemented until 2023. It means that um, as our project second phase will continue until 2023. So uh, we will improve, uh, we will improve the, 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 poli the previous policy instrument. And of course the, the cost will be used from year to year funds. The second action on public procurement to inspirations were taken from uh, Finland, from Portugal, from Slovenia, and um, players uh, involved are Ministry of Economy and Innovation, our Ministry of Environment, also Public Procurement Office, and uh, different other institutions. And the time frame and costs are um, the, similar to the previous action. And we also first in the indicators for monitoring of the action plan for the second phase. And uh, those um, two actions were listed. Uh, uh, the indicators were policy number of projects and number of green procurements with LCE tools. And the reference sources of information for monitoring are also indicated in the table. We will use the information from uh, Quarter information by communicating with the Ministry of Economy and Innovation, and uh, of course from the quarter monitoring tool EU Investments in Lithuania websites. And uh, for, for the second action, the uh, additional information will be taken from the Public Procurement Office. So that's it very shortly from our action plan. The draft action plan already is placed in the board document. We we finished this and we are ready to submit for your review, for partners review, or for to submit to for midterm review to GS. So thank you very much. Thank you, Yolanda. Thank you so much for your presentation. And um, we would move now to the last presentation of the morning with the uh, action plan for the region of Lombardia. Good morning. Uh, okay. Here Can you, you hear are. me properly? Yes, for, for perfectly, Alessandro. I hope you are feeling better. And welcome to this meeting. Yeah. Even thank you. Online. Okay. Go ahead, please. Yeah. My apologies, first of all, not to be there with you, but I, I was forced by uh, force major. So, uh, anyway, thank you for your hospitality, for your hospitality as well. Um, and. I would say last but not least, uh, but for sure, uh, I would also say last but and less developed because uh, we are uh, we are uh, a bit. Our action plan is not well developed. Can you see it properly? Yes. Yes. Okay. Great. So uh, uh, the title of my presentation is "Ideas for Our Action Plan" because we were engaged with our technical assistants and colleagues in uh, the developing the roadmap, and so this. Uh, our action plan is a bit not well developed. So I'm, I'm going to present to you just some draft action and some draft idea uh, that we are going to further develop in the coming weeks. Um, first of all, uh, we are going to change, as Navara is going to do, uh, the um, policy instrument because we are not going to address, of course, the ERDF Regional Operational Program 2014-2020, but the new one. Uh, the 2021-2027, and, and our action will probably be addressed to this policy instrument, then perhaps also to others. I will present them at the, at the end of my presentation, but mainly we are going to address this policy instrument. And our uh, new uh, regional operational program is uh, currently under the uh, strategic environmental assessment procedure, and we will probably have the final approval of the of this program uh, by uh, July and so we we will be able to have the first call the first calls of this uh, of this uh, program uh, end of the year or in the spring of the new year so perfectly aligned with the with the with the project uh, schedule let's say and into this new policy instrument we we think we can express uh, we can uh, develop our action uh, in on some specific on some of the specific objectives of this uh, program. Uh, 
Uh, concerning the um, funding priorities too, uh, which is greener, low carbon and resilient Europe, uh, we are going to address uh, uh, the, the specific objective on uh, energy efficiency and on the specific objective B4, B6, uh, uh, the promotion of, uh, of the transition to a circular economy. Uh, in the funding priorities one, uh, which is a more competitive and smarter Europe, we are trying, we would like to, uh, to address uh, the objective of developing and strengthening research and innovation capacities and the introduction of advanced technologies. Now, um, let's see the actions addressing this policy instrument. The action one could be, I use the conditional, of course, <laughs> at this time, uh, more sustainable energy efficiency. Um, in the specific objectives I quoted before, uh, we have an action which is support, uh, an action into the policy instrument, not, not in our action plan, which is support for renovation and refurbishment intervention of the energy efficiency of public structure and systems. Into this, actions, into this action in the current version of the, of the regional operational program, uh, so probably the, the, the version that will be approved in July, we have the, the, the sentence uh, you can read in orange, uh, dark orange, uh, uh, which is already a product of the project because that sentence is inside uh, the, the, the program because uh, uh, our project influenced uh, the, the drawing up of the, of the regional operational program. So there is quoted the life cycle um, concept uh, in order to make more sustainable the, um, the efficiency of building, the energy efficiency of building. Uh, we have ongoing in these days a dialogue with the colleagues of the pertinent units together with, uh, with RINA, our, our technical assistance, starting from the peer review document, a dialogue to try to understand whether we can find a simplified way to use the life cycle approach to fund a more sustainable project. And we are taking inspiration also from the Lithuania good practices and also from the levels scheme, the levels, levels framework we, we proposed as a good practice is uh, one year or, or more uh, uh, ago. Then a potential second action uh, could be a life cycle for support in circular economy, because we have a specific objective on the transition to a circular economy. And we have also here an ongoing activity. Uh, we are trying to understand whether we can set a call for project to support uh, the creation of a new Made Green in Italy scheme. You uh, probably uh, remember uh, the presentation of Mr. Testa during the TLJ6 uh, in Milan uh, from the University of Sant'Anna. Um, the Made Green in Italy scheme is a PEF based scheme, so is a, a scheme for value chains completely um, supported by a life cycle analysis. And uh, the idea of the scheme uh, approved by the, the of the methodology approved by the, you know, our um, Ministry for Transition, Ecological Transi Transition, sorry, is to improve the sustainability of the value chains. Um, and also um, allowing a, a kind of approach of continuous improvement of the environmental performances of the value chain. And so uh, we would like to try uh, as a first option to support it through the funds coming from the ERDF, the, our regional operational program, uh, try to support uh, the definition of new scheme for new value chains uh, as a first option. And then as a second option, try to support uh, companies, in particular SMEs, uh, to join uh, existing uh, Made Green in Italy schemes uh, or uh, schemes uh, Made Green in Italy for uh, value chain that has, uh, have already reached the certification of the scheme. And so what is interesting here is that we can, in, in designing the schema for a new value chain, for instance, the cotton uh, textile value chain, we can decide to stress specific uh, environmental components, for instance, resource efficiency or water consumption. So this, is, this can be quite interesting and we would like to try to, to create this action too. Then action three could be a uh, life cycle for innovation. Um, uh, in the priority funding, funding priority one, so innovation, a smarter, U, a smarter Europe, in particular the action AE4, development and protection of the innovative capacity of the business system. Uh, uh, here as well, the starting point is the peer review document we produced in November, 
and uh, the wording of the current version of the regional operational program, quote, uh, explicitly uh, the life cycle, asset, uh, life cycle assessment as a tool that can be funded through the program to support uh, uh, innovation, innovative capacity. So we, are, we started a dialogue with the competent colleagues of the, of the unit responsible for this action of the regional operational program. And their point of view is that LCA can also be an, an objective of, of a research action into the, into, the, into the regional operational program. So they can pay, let's say, they can fund uh, researchers on the use of life cycle for innovation. Also, they can uh, pay attention um, uh, to the use of life cycle in uh, addressing and implementing uh, other kind of measures. And finally, they can also try to support um, in a research project, uh, uh, joining companies and universities, uh, the research on uh, specific new approaches uh, for sustainability involving also life cycle uh, thinking and life cycle approach. Then we, we are thinking of some action that I, 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 would, I would like to call in between because they are not directly uh, addressed to the regional operational program, but they can uh, play a role in uh, making the uh, regional operational program ERDF more effective in using life cycle. The first one is a training path for our institution uh, to increase, to, 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 so it's an action for education and capacity building. And uh, we could try to propose a, a program for a training uh, um, path for regional policy officers. Uh, and we, we would like to try to, make, to, to get the approval of this, of this uh, training, of this scheme, scheme of training during, the, 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 during phase two, in order our region can pay uh, 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 can, can support our policy officer to, to, to have this, this training, of course, for free, uh, and to increase their knowledge about the life cycle approach and techniques uh, to make more effective the application of life cycle in the regional operational program and in, in, in other policy instruments. Another kind of action that I called in between uh, can be the spreading of the project results. We have two, let's say, websites, or uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah I, I will call them a, a website, which are the Open Innovation Platform and the Sustainable Development Platform, which are the first one, a platform paid by the Axis One uh, funds, so funds for um, innovation. It is a kind of community at the regional level of companies, university, uh, small and medium enterprises uh, uh, and what else. And we could try to publish there um, <clears throat> all the project results in order the LCA can be, uh, the life cycle approach can be uh, studied by the potential users and, and also the project result can be, results can be spread to a larger public. The same for the sustainable development platform which is connected to our regional sustainable development strategy. And then perhaps uh, we could try to address also two other policy instruments, which are the Waste Management Regional Program and the Energy Climate Environment Regional Program, which is called uh, as, uh, with an acronym PREAC. Uh, so far we have potential action just for the PREAC, action six. We started a dialogue with the company uh, who is drawing up the, uh, the, the, new, the, the new program uh, to try to use life cycle as a criteria to compare different plan actions and also to uh, use life cycle criteria for um, minimum life cycle criteria for technological interventions and also to try to use it uh, in, in public tenders. Um, but this, this kind of dialogue is just at the beginning and then perhaps we will not be able to address this, this action. Uh, so I think that's it. I was a bit fast. Sorry for uh, the speed of my language. Uh, and okay, thank you. Thank you so much, Alessandro. We have now finished the all round of uh, presentations regarding the action plans. And uh, 
So now it's time for a short break. Afterwards, we'll have the possibility of having, besides our discussion, we will also have time for some questions and answers regarding the specifics of the action plan. Thank you. 